everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing a makeup brushes review you know me I love makeup brushes and I'm really really excited to try these out as you can see they are still wrapped I haven't looked at them I don't know how they are how they feel I'm very very excited they are called Malika Jaffrin I got them from Amazon I will leave a link in the description box uh, but they were around $17 16 17 dollars which is great because it comes with a uh, case like this which is leather like and it says Malika Jaffrin uh, the professional brush kit. This feels really really nice and it makes it look professional um, I'm happy that it came with this because it's easier to travel or if you're a makeup artist and uh, When you go to your client you want to have your brushes all nice and organized. I think this is great Okay, so on each side they have this to cover the bristles so it doesn't damage and Wow, this feels very thick, but before I use them. I just want to see what's in here so it says, important, please read me. They have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. They're all at Malika Jeffrin. Oh, wow. So they have each brush and they say the name. Brushes are soft on the skin and glide easily on face. I think this is the founder. I think she's Malika Jeffrin. It says she's an international celebrity makeup artist. She does media, fashion, and bridal makeup. Okay, so each brush comes wrapped individually and... Hmm, no, they don't smell like anything. It just smells like brand new. The handle is black and glossy. It says Malika Jaffrin on one side and on the back it says the complete name, which is great because I always want to say the name in the video because you guys ask me what brush did you use. The bristles are super, super soft. They are perfectly cut. I like it. I like black and silver. It's very sleek and pretty. So this is the KF02 Flat Kabuki. I think I'm gonna use this for foundation. Okay, so I mix the foundation on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna spread it around. Oh wow, they're so soft. Mm. And I like it because the bristles are not very stiff. They are movable and it's easy to either tap like this or buff so you go in circular motions because I feel like with some makeup brushes they are so stiff that you can only tap but this is very soft and it doesn't hurt at all I like this I really really do as you can see it's super easy to move around and it doesn't leave any marks behind it doesn't absorb the product as of right now no hairs left usually when you first use a makeup brush it's gonna have some hair uh, loss because it's brand new and some of them didn't glue properly but I don't have any so that's good I love this one it blends the foundation so effortlessly and looks airbrushed it went well over my nose sometimes I find it difficult to place the foundation on my nose because it's super oily and it doesn't stay but with this it's very pretty and it looks very very nice next I'm gonna take this tapered kabuki brush I think this is called uh, KT04 is this yeah KT04 I'm gonna use this for concealer Oh wow, this is soft and it's small if it's right underneath the eyes. Let me try it. So I'm just gonna place a little bit underneath my eyes, in the inner corner, and on my eyelid to prepare for eyeshadow. Down the bridge of my nose, in the center of my forehead. So I feel like this one is, the hairs are shorter not like the foundation one so it's more dense and packed and it doesn't move like this you just have to pack oh and there's one hair told you but that's okay because um, as I said in the beginning most of the brushes shed but it blends the makeup very nicely especially underneath the eyes because I find when I blend too much underneath the eyes my wrinkles are a lot more uh, accentuated and you can see them. So 
So the less I blend, the better. See how easy it is to blend? Oh wow. I'm very impressed. So far, so good. Oh yeah. It's perfect for tapping. I like it. Just gonna add a little extra to bake. And we're gonna um, take that away later. I'm gonna also bake the sides of my nose because it gets crazy oily. I'm gonna contour my face a little bit, so I'm gonna take this brush. It's called Face Blush and Bronze KA05. And I'm just gonna contour a little bit. Okay, so this is very interesting shape. As you can see, it's kind of flat here on the side but it's very fluffy this is really really good for contouring wow i don't have any brush like this i like it i like it how it's uh squeezed here on the sides we'll see how that applies i'm just gonna take it picks up a lot of product be careful oh my god how easy Wow, it's very soft, so it's perfect for contouring. It's not stiff. It's um, the bristles are quite long, so it's easy to just blend around. You see that? Oh, so natural! I love it. The thing with contouring brushes, if they're too uh, dense, too packed, it's gonna be very hard to blend. Uh, although they are perfectly shaped. The bristles are very, very important too. Just gonna put a bit here. I don't have to put any pressure at all. Oh my god, I love this one. This is the best so far. I wanna apply some highlight too, so I think I'm gonna uh, take the one that I used for my concealer and see how it goes. Let's see. Ooh. I like this uh, highlighter because it's not very intense, it's just super natural and it's easy to, to wear throughout the day. Now I'm gonna take this one, uh, this is a face powder, I'm gonna use this, oh wow, and this is slightly squeezed on the sides, I hope you can see that, it's longer and slimmer, this is really pretty, I like the shape. I'm just gonna take it to blend the rest of my powder all over my face and wipe it away where I baked. So I'm gonna take some blush on the same face powder brush. Oops, I think I got too much. For kabuki brushes, I find it trickier to apply blush with because they are very dense and um, they don't apply product very nicely back onto the face but because these are slightly softer and not as packed as a kabuki brush yet still it does have bristles um, as a kabuki brush it's very easy to leave the product on the face and not keep it on the brush I think that's very important and yes it looks good Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I'm gonna start with this. This is a blending brush, eye and face blender. I wanna define my crease a little bit. Oh, wow. Interesting. So I'm just gonna take a light brown and begin to put that in my crease. Yes, it does apply nicely doesn't put it all in one place so it's easy to blend I like that kabuki brushes can be tricky um, when putting the product back onto the face so you take it on the brush and then you have to put it back on your face it can be tricky but with this it works just fine it has two brushes right here on the left uh, that are also for not just for the eyes but for 
um, precision concealing if you just want to conceal a certain spot this is great to just put concealer there and blend it it's not as big as a face brush uh, so it's just very very precise and it also has one the same but it's flat top so this is angled and this is flat this is the face stipple concealer and this is face conceal and blend hmm that's very pretty I will use those on the eyes maybe but I, I want to see if I can apply some eyeshadow on my eyelids so I think I'm gonna take this first this is eye and face buff blender so I'm just gonna take a shimmery eyeshadow okay so it applies very nice and considering this is a shimmer eyeshadow you kind of have to press that on the face so it's easy for me to do that very nice it comes with a pencil brush eye pencil which is very very good and I'm gonna smoke the lower lash line just a little bit let's see if it's soft because I don't want it to hurt oh pretty good could have been softer but it's not bad I've tried worse eye pencil brushes and for the inner part I'm just gonna take the shimmery shade again and just put it in the inner part I'm gonna take the KA7 and just with a little bit of eyeshadow I'm gonna blend the crease shade and the eyelid shade just so it's not too harsh I like because it it's uh, in an angle so it's easier to just put it like this with the angle going down and it's just perfect if it's right in the crease okay so everything that I have left is this flat um, KL6 brush for the eyes and the face and this one which is the what's the name on this KFA03 so this is a face contour foundation this is an angled uh, kabuki brush these are the only two that I haven't used because I didn't have anything else to use them for but I'm just gonna finish my makeup and I'll be right back and I'll tell you my opinion about each brush so let's just finish this makeup okay now that I have completed my makeup I decided to slightly contour my nose a little bit so I'm just gonna take the KA7 and a little bit of contour powder and see what happens just gonna take a little bit on the side and on the edge and let's see I usually just contour uh, the very tip of my nose because up here I'm okay I just want to be slimmer at the end really pretty nothing harsh uh, it didn't move the foundation underneath you have seen that I have uh, baked before so it looks very nice I'm really impressed with the fact that they are kabuki brushes but they lay the product very nicely they pick it and they put it back on the face they don't keep it in in the bristles which is amazing because I have some kabuki brushes that first of all they don't pick the product and the ones that do pick the product don't put it back on your face which is the trickier part okay now I'm gonna read this and talk about each brush so it starts with the round kabuki KR01 this is called face powder and this is the one that I talked about the shape I really like how it's bended in here and it's kind of flat like this and here it says great for buffing powder foundation application blend mineral product onto the skin yes you can use this for um, mineral foundation or for your blush bronzer powder um, this is great it's soft and the bristles are very movable so it's perfect for going all over the face and the size is actually good it's just not too big for blush but not too small for face powder it's just good and then I have the flat kabuki kf02 this is the one that I used to apply my foundation I really really like it it's soft in the foundation very easily and it doesn't absorb a lot of product I was surprised uh, how well it looked considering I used the Maybelline fit me my Pearless, which is 
not very full coverage foundation but it looked perfect on my skin and I feel like this preserved the coverage very very well and here it says amazing for blending liquid or cream onto flat area on the face forehead and cheeks absolutely right this is just perfect for foundation and uh, you can even use this for concealer if you don't have another brush let's say you don't have this one that I use for concealer I think this will be great because it's not too big and since the bristles are very soft and easy to move around it will fit in the eye area so overall this is really really good and it's in my top three then I have Angle Flat KFA03 this is face contour foundation it looks like this this is the one that I didn't use and it says superb for contouring on cheekbones and contours on the nose um, I think it would be a bit too big for the nose but for the cheekbones and the forehead I think it would be great the angle shape can fit into all areas on the face and hard to reach areas I think this would be good also for foundation because I have a bunch of foundation brushes that are like this angled and they are super good you have a bigger surface than on this one so when that one is dirty I think you can use this one for foundation and the bristles seem just the same, the size is the same, just on this side they are smaller and they go longer. Uh, but other than that, they are just the same, so I think this would be good for foundation as well. Then we have Taper Kabuki KT04. This is eye and face concealer. Totally agree, this is perfect for concealer. Multi-purpose brush for the face and concealing eyes. I think this is just great for Wow, there's so much powder. Uh, this is perfect for blending concealer and putting powder underneath the eyes where you want to bake on the sides of your nose, underneath the contour here on the cheeks. I would have preferred them slightly longer, but it does blend and concealer very nice. It doesn't absorb the product, and this is in my top three as well. Then we have Angle Kabuki KA05. This is the face blush and bronze. This is the one that I use to contour my cheeks and it's absolutely amazing. This is my number one brush. I love it. The shape is great. The bristles are the perfect length so it's easy for you to blend your contour and they're very soft. As I said, they're kind of pinched here on the side so um, the brush is kind of longer like this. I don't know exactly how to explain but I think you can see and get the idea. It's really really good and as I said this is my number one brush out of all of them. It's great. And the rest are smaller brushes like this for spot conceal or eyes. First I have Kabuki Long KL6. It's uh, this one, Face People Concealer. is the one that I didn't use. It does have a flat top so I think this would be perfect to spot conceal and just easy to blend. This says Stipple concealer on blemishes, sunspot, and other small imperfections. Exactly what I said. Perfect for that. And uh, it could be good for eyes too, but for the face to spot conceal, this would be perfect. Kabuki Angle Flat KA7. This is face conceal and blend. This is what I use to uh, slightly blend my crease, kind of like this. So the long hairs are on the bottom, the short ones are on the top, and you just blend around. This says multi-purpose brush can be used for the eyes and face for precise application. Yeah, I think this is um, for all over the face. You can even spot conceal but you can also use this for your eye makeup. Oh, and there is one hair. Um, but yeah, I liked it. Uh, it blended my eyeshadow very nicely and it's good. This is Eye and Face Buff Blender. This is what I use to apply the eyeshadow on my lid, which is very strange because you would look at it and say, mm, what do I use this brush for? But actually, the fact that it's kind of flat but fluffy at the same time, it was very easy for me to apply the eyeshadow on the lid and easily blend it into the crease so it's nothing too harsh. The transition is very nice. And I liked it. I really liked it definitely my top five then I have the Kabuki blender KB9 this is the one that I define my crease with it says eye and face blender this is perfect the shape is nice it's not too fluffy so it's just it goes right into the crease but you can also blend it outwards so it's not just in the crease um, I like this definitely very very nice and then the last one which wasn't my favorite but it got the job done is the kabuki pencil kp10 
This is great for blending concealer onto hard to reach areas, eyes, chin and around the mouth. Great for smoky eye techniques. Um, yes, if you want to apply concealer on some hard to reach areas just on the top of the blemish and then come with this brush, the flat top one, just to blend it, I think these would make a great pair but just for underneath the eyes i don't think it's the softest brush um but it got the job done i mean i was able to apply the eyeshadow without being like without hurting me but i don't know i will try and see how it is for spot concealing but it's not my favorite for underneath the eyes overall i'm very very pleased first of all with the case which is big sturdy and it feels luxurious the inside looks very nice it doesn't smell bad it smells just new and it does come with these things so you can cover your brushes i'm also gonna keep um these things for other brushes when i'm traveling because it does protect the bristles uh, so you don't mess them up in your bag but the ones that I'm gonna put here are gonna be protected because this comes on top and here it's very nice uh, the ones that are for the face have a bigger hole and the ones that are for the eyes have a smaller hole which is great because it actually shows that this case was specifically made for this set which is amazing so I like this great great thing thumbs up I'm very happy it came with it and my top three face brushes I have here the KF02 the one for foundation KA05 the one that I use for contour and KT04 for concealer so overall I am very very happy and again you will find the link to the store and to this product in the description box I think that's everything that I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Bye!